What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we're gonna be hanging out checking a little game that honestly didn't impress me a ton the first time that I played it. So I take that with a caveat. I played this like a year ago. I was excited to do a series about it and really what is a YouTuber's job? Especially if you're in like the indie impressions genre like I am. Like that's my job is to show off indie games. Come hell or high water I'm gonna show you indie games. That's what I do here. But like sometimes I invest too much hype into a thing that I'm excited about. And this was one of those things where it was just like, ah. Uh. And so in a lot of ways, like, a YouTuber's job is to get disappointed for you so that you can see me get disappointed and then be like, okay, I'm gonna save myself that. Well, the game's gone through a lot of patches, and I've heard from a number of sources that the game is actually, like, playable and fun now. So we're gonna check out Judgment, Apocalypse Survival Simulation. Have you ever liked anything like Hellgate London? Uh, kind of similar. Hellgate London was another one of those games that I was so stoked about. The art style was so sick. And then it ended up just being kind of like, and it was terrible. It was like duty in your undies. So let's rotate. Can I use letters in here too? Like fart? No, I can't put fart in there. Well, I mean, I can kind of put fart in there, except that I can't make an F with numbers. Damn, I would have to get creative to do like an F with numbers. I don't think there's anything that's going to do what I want it to do. Disappointing, man. Disappointing. All I ever wanted to do was put fart in my map seed. Let's go. Oh, we gotta pick our characters here. So we've got a survivalist named Jan Levinson Ghoul, I presume. Uh, we'll go with... I don't know. I would like to have, like, a fighter. I would like to have, like, a survivalist. Joey is apparently a miner. A priest? I don't know what a priest does for me. But I assume... So he's corrupt. So that sucks. Bodybuilder, brute... Oh, she's gonna make a good fighter. She's gonna make a really good fighter, and strangely enough, a really good tender of gardens. An occultist weirdo, so he gets a plus third. That's probably a good thing for an occultist to have, right? Is for him to be, like, really good with occult weapons. Alright, let's jump on in and play ourselves some Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. If you look at the abbreviation for the game, it's Judgment Ass. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> oh, that made me so happy. That made my day. Like, seriously, I was actually feeling a little down today, but I think that fixed it. Uh, while out camping, four of you were attacked by a single powerful creature. Together, you barely managed to take it down, but Ned didn't make it. Damn it, Ned! Survive, Ned! All around, more red eyes told of awful things looming in the shadows. You grabbed your supplies and made your way back to town, only to find it has been over... Run, okay, burning under a red sky. The apocalypse has begun. The three of you have made your way to a nearby hidden valley that you have used to hike. It seems safe for now for making some salad dressing. You should set up camp. Set up with a shelter, a place to eat, and a place to rest. Okay, I'm gonna stop the time real fast. Let's see what we got going on here. So we got 16 wood at the moment. We've got 30 salads, so it looks like we're gonna be getting lean. We're gonna be getting cut up in here. We've also got some stones. If you get the stones for it, you can build. I'm gonna zoom on out. We're gonna take a look at this map here and figure out where all the best stuff is. So what is that right there? That's clay. K. If you've got clay, that's okay. I think we've got a couple of campsites up here that we can scavenge. I'm thinking if I start building like over here, I'll have more space. I'm glad to see that they added some trees to the game. The last time I played, there wasn't enough trees. Like, there'd be like a tiny amount of trees on your map, and you go through them in like eight seconds, and you'd be like, all right, well, I guess it's time to die now. Bye! And you would just run out of trees, so it looks like there's a lot more trees. Let's set up some chopping jobs. There we go. And so there is some chopping jobs. And as we start to get wood together for some of the stuff that we want to build, we can go to the build menu, and in fact, we can do that right now. It's not even a biggie. In fact, it's quite a smallie. We should be able to do this right now. We also need a well so we can get water. So let me drop a well down in here. Yeah, there we go. Ricky Ticky Timbo is going to have to watch out for that one. But other than that, I think we should be good. They will continue chopping trees. I will slow the game down because I don't want anybody to starve to death. We'll go with a log cabin right there. And then we will also go with a log cabin right her. Nope, too big. Never mind. We'll go with a small log cabin like right her. That doesn't fit right there. I wanted it to, though. Like, just because, like, I want something to happen. Can the universe just let that happen? Like, I don't want things very often, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not a materialistic person. But little things, like being able to build a building where I want to build that building at. Just let me have that. I mean, just, just let me have it. Just let it happen. Um, I know we started off on kind of a, oh, we get a free bed. That's pretty cool. What we should do first is get a free food table, though, so that people can eat their salads. Because apparently, unless you have a place to serve the salad in fanciful fashion, uh, you're, you can't eat a salad. That's just the way that it goes down. 
We've also got room for a bed. I will put a bed in right here next to our food table so that in life, all you have to do is roll over, someone can shove the food off the table into your open mouth, and then you can roll off back to sleep. Uh, we have a base of operations, but we are far from safe. So we need to learn to farm, and we do that through the research menu, which is right here. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff that you can research. There's crafts, there's weapons, there's a cult, uh, there's rituals. I mean, there's all kinds of interesting things that you should be able to do along the way. Probably not going to get to do those inside the breadth of this episode, but we will start research. That's what this building was for right here. And so we are going to put in an experiment table, and we're not going to worry about this stuff looking purdy. And then we're going to put in a workbench right there, and that should be most of the things we need in order to keep ourselves trucking here and not run into any major issues. Our Wood supply is going to be looking real good after we get this all done. Hopefully Joey will, yeah, there you go. Be a friend and head on over into there and craft the thing that I want you to craft. I will appreciate it greatly. It'd be a very nice thing for you to do. Oh, well, apparently Joey's got to take a nap. Assembling this table full of science was too much for him. Cruise is going to get it done. Cruising speed. Cruising altitude, all that kind of stuff. So we've got sleepy people. It's easy enough to deal with. They'll go lay down and sleep once, you know, the bed is no longer open. I don't know if they have... They do have skills. So there you go. If you want people to have skills, there's his skills. You can also set up the priorities of individual members of our society if you want to. Probably not recommended to have her do science, but other than that, uh, we'll make it work. Is Joey the one that's doing science right now? Is that what's happening? No. Joey is not doing science. Uh, she should do science like last. Never do science because you're terrible at it. You're pretty solid at quarrying and stuff, so you should probably do those first. But other than that, we'll have you do some science. And then what'll happen is if we go into our research menu, it'll stack up points. And then we can spend those points. And actually, she's accumulated enough already, so we have enough for a veggie table farm. So there it is. We have vegetable farms. So if we get 20 more, we can get a reinforced outfit right there. We can get a stove and a wheat farm. I'll probably work towards the stove and the wheat farm next. It looks like she's pretty good at actually doing research. She's banging that out, like, really fast. Surprisingly quick. I did not expect it to go like that. Like, she's actually getting us research on the quickety-quick. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, the other thing that we need to do before we run out of food here, because we are eating our way through our vegetables, is that we are going to need two things. We are going to need to quarry some stone... So let's quarry that on up right there. Yep, we're going to be quarians for right now, walking around in our spacesuit, doing our thing in general, getting sacrificed. Well, I can't, never mind. Spoiler alert, Splat, for all of you that haven't played Mass Effect 2 or 3, you probably should. They're both really awesome. I recently played through 1, 2, and 3 all in one sitting, and it was frankly life-changing. The beginning of Mass Effect 3 was, I think, the closest I ever came to blubbering at a video game. Like, the opening on Mass Effect 3 was just like, oh my god. I don't know, I was just trying to put myself, like, I'm an empathetic person. I have no problem putting myself in other people's shoes. Oh, we should probably craft some weapons. Let's make some arrows. And if we make arrows, we can make a bow, and then we'll also make a club. Everybody in the club getting bowsy. Everybody in the club getting bowsy. And I don't mean that all of our headgear needs are supplied by... Don't stop doing that with water. What are you doing right now? Um... Just chill for a minute. You can gather water later. You don't need to do that right now. There we go. So the arrows got made. And that means we can make two bows as well. I think bows used to be a lot harder to make when I played the game last time. So who was our brute? Who's our lady that likes to punch people? That was Andy. So you get a big old stick made of wood. Joey the survivalist gets a bow. And then Cruz the occultist also gets a bow. And so in a lot of ways, people are going to draw corollaries with this game and RimWorld. I would say that this game is a lot like RimWorld, but with a different setting. I mean, the agents of hell are invading and trying to kill us all. And so you'll understand it is a little different. Uh, yeah, if you guys could quarry that stone a little quicker, that'd be fantastic. So are we just, like, fetching water endlessly now? Is that what's happening? Well, we've got enough water, so I'm not going to concern myself with it. I need somebody to do some damn science. Get up in here and calculate some shit. That's right, E equals MC squared. That's right, the duodenum is located. There you go, do some science. Oh, we needed... Oh, shit, food is running out. That is absolutely correct. I was quarrying stones so that I could make vegetable farms. And so there's a vegetable farm. There's a vegetable farm, and I don't know if it'll let me do it right there. Oh, it will. Yay. Well, there is also a vegetable farm. Don't worry about research. Uh, just make sure the vegetable farms get built because we're about to starve to death in like an hour. So, let's say, well, not even an hour. In like 30 seconds, we're about to starve to death. So, we've got vegetable farms. 
That's pretty sweet. Uh, we're being attacked by monsters. This little thing is going to pop up whenever you got to defend your base. And so demons, uh, whelps from the darkness, are coming after us. And so in this situation, it just becomes like an RTS. Uh, you can drag and drop like a rubber band box over the top of people and then drag them around and kind of do their thing. Uh, if you guys could get over here, I will send out Clubber Lang on this side. Yeah, Clubby Lady. If you guys want to shoot some arrows, that'd be great. He's got a 48% chance to hit. Well, there you go. We've already defeated that imp. And so three XP has been gained. We've got some sulfur. Okay, much better than sulhair. Uh, we've got sulfur, though. So we've got to scavenge a nearby location. That was close, but the next time you might not be so lucky. In order to survive, you can't just keep your head low. You need to figure out what's going on out there and gather supplies from nearby towns. So we get some better weapons. We've made some bows. We've got a club. We've got all that stuff. Somebody nearby is being chased by demons and so we can send a team to help out with that it is a possibility uh we can go to the world map right there as you just saw it'll jump on over and how long is it going to take me to get over there though i get a free individual if i go over there and i think i could probably use that these buildings right here have stone and metal and water do any of them have wool those ones have arrows all right well i'll send somebody over here i don't see a reason not to so task force, there's only one imp, so I guess send, yeah, send her. She should be able to do it by herself. I, I see no reason why this should be more than a task that she can handle. So send her over there. Ah, oh, yes, the game was paused. That would explain a great many things. Uh, hopefully she doesn't get waylaid on the road, but if she does, good for her. I mean, I like a win for anybody as much as I like a win for me. So, you know, you got to learn to be positive in life about the stuff that's happening. Uh, now that she's over here, what are our chances of her actually, yes, search for items here? So we've got research materials, we've got stones, we've got a number of other things. No, we need at least two participants. Ass. Okay, you come back home. You are no longer useful to me. This is time sensitive, however, because it's got a little clock right there. So I think we'll want to take care of that at some point. At base view, how are we doing on that research right there? Are we doing good? Can I craft a salad? Is that possible? We need three veggies in order to craft a salad. How far along is this stuff right here? Tending, maturity. All right, he's tending right there. He's tending as hard as he can tend. Uh, as far as our research goes, we have access to patchwork, or we can go with cooking, which will give us a stove, a wheat farm, and some bread. Alternatively, we can get sawmills, boards, quarter staves, shields. On the weapons front, if we get 60, we can get to the composite bow. Uh, we can work down to metal weapons if we can get research materials, but I don't think any of that's available right now. So instead, we're going to focus on food needs. Let's go ahead and we'll set up cooking right there. And as long as research keeps going, I bet it'll be okay. Uh, this stuff over here is going to need tending, and it's going to need harvesting very shortly. But it should largely be automated. We shouldn't have to worry about it too much. So that gave us 12 veggies. On this side, yeah, just auto-craft the veggies. If you've got the ability to auto-craft veggies, go for it. I will not complain. So there it is. Uh, veggies appear to be getting crafted. We'll see if this is the equilibrium we need with our veggies in order to make sure that our food supply grows. But for right now, it's looking good to me. So we're going to go back out to the worldview now. And I need to make like a new task force. So let's manage this task force. I'm going to add, I suppose, crews to it as well. Since unbeknownst to me, I needed two people to go and rescue. Oh, shit. Our rescue spot is gone. Well, damn, I guess we just don't get a fourth person today. So with our task force, if I could filter out by, let's see here, search for items uh, we need. So it looks like we can get, what are those, herbs, cooking and crafting recipes. It looks like those are some pretty scary monsters out there, though. Like, those ones have boogity faces, and I don't like boogity face monsters. Well, what else can we get done? So research materials were only over there. I don't really need wood as far as herbs go. Yeah... Okay, well, we could go over to here, but there's a fire imp. There's some nasty enemies over there. We may want to get ourselves better situated for the war ahead before we do anything else. Is there a way for me to disband these guys and just, like, kick them all out? Yeah, recall and manage, and then, like, let's say that I don't want this to be... Oh, I can change their little symbol, too. Yeah, give them a fist right there. A red fist, because that's what we give to the devil. The Red Fisters. In fact, that's what I'm going to change their name to in just a minute. They're going to be the Red Devil Fisters. It's going to be pretty sick. I think we're going to garner a lot of support in the anti-devil community. All right, so those are growing pretty quickly. It does look like we got kind of a surplus right there, so that's a bonus. We've got some clay. 
What is this right here? That's a mineral resource. Okay. I can also do scraps and medicine down here. Scraps and medicine. I think you need medicine to heal. That seems like a fairly... Doesn't seem like a huge logical jump. We got scraps, medicine. I think they all just have scraps and medicine. That's disappointing because I was hoping some of them would have like cloth or something because we have to be able to build like a bed before we can do other things. So I am going to have to knock down a little bit more space too. So go ahead and quarry that rock out of the way so I can build a new building. If you guys get that murdered out real fast, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Well, how many chops does that have? Like eight chops left inside of it. Okay, get them, chop. Get them. Some say that ideas are easy and execution is all that matters. Scientific research, however, is driven by ideas. Ideas that can be formed by anyone, anywhere, even in your sleep. Joey sometimes speaks in his sleep, mostly nonsense, but today his ramblings led to a scientific breakthrough. Oh, cool, we got like a little event right there that made our lives better. So we've got 50 research to play around with. Yeah, we got a grip of research. I'll make a reinforced outfit then, because that seems like a good idea. We can lower our water usage by 10%. I'm thinking instead, if we've got 50 points, I'm going to make some weapons. Oh, we need 60 for weapons. Okay. Well, he'll finish that off in like a couple of minutes. And so you spotted some creatures, so you better prepare. Okay. Uh, we'll watch out for him. Can I make some kind of like, what is this right here? Enemy awareness of your colony. So apparently we can cast rituals that can lower and raise our awareness. Like if we want to get attacked and we want to do better. So we are being attacked right now. What are we being attacked by? Just one imp? Okay, I can live with that. That was my other problem that I had with the game the last time I played, is that just frankly, you got attacked too much, and by too much, too early in the game. Uh, their chances of hitting are probably much lower, because they cannot see. There you go. Put some heat on him, cat. Put some heat on him, cat. There you go. Don't fight him point blank with a bow. Run, kite! We got two imps right there, so there's a little bit more XP, a little bit more sulfur, but we're doing all right. That's not too bad. Has anybody leveled up or gotten better at any of the stuff that they do, or is it still just kind of like the day-to-day -day right now? Hmm, looks like it's just the day-to-day. -day. I definitely think we should focus on weapons. If we can get some dope-ass weapons made, I think we'll be in a much better position for surviving this thing. Oh yeah, and I also crafted the thing. How do I get more of the reinforced stuff? So I need 20 scraps in order for this to work. Okay, let's get scrappy then. Yup, these scraps need to be happening. I'm going to send people down south of town, and they can go scrap those scraps as soon as they need to. And that should slowly... Oh, you guys are not very good at scavenging, are you? Oh, we get three of them at a time, though. Okay, I thought we were only going to harvest one at a time. I was like, this is going to take a little bit of doing if you guys are going to take it slow like that. So for the compound bow, what's that going to cost us? Six arrows. Okay. We'll then make 12 arrows. And as soon as the arrows are done, we'll make some compound bows so that maybe our damage is going up a little bit to match up with the resolve of our enemies, who do appear to be multiplying. They came back like 100% stronger than they were before. So, you know. Our food does appear to be positive. Uh, net positive, which is a really good thing. I think that's going to work out for us in the long term. An enemy scouting party, you should take them out before they spot your base. Killing a scouting party reduces enemy awareness while leaving them raises it. Okay. Alright, so we can go to the world map, and where's the scouting party at? That's them right there. And there's two big bad devils in there. Well, these big bad devils about to get beat down. Let's do this thing. It's time for us to let's manage this group. We will put you in there as well. You cannot leave your base completely undefended. Well, then fine. I'll send those two, and I'm sure it'll work out perfectly great. Go over there. I demand you go over there, and then attack them. Kill the scouting team! Slay them! Murder! They're devils. Nobody cares about them. So, like, are they looking around right now, or, like, how's this all gonna work? So you get in cover. I'm gonna try and drag them back to me if I can find them. We'll speed the game up ever so slightly. It looks like things have not gone well for the suburban population. If only they had a suburban German bourbon. What's up, guys? Are they gonna, like, leave the map if I go down here? Oh, shit, they're on me now. They're on me now. I think they're on me now. I need you to shoot arrows and hurt them. There we go. You fall back to here now. And you fight that imp. You fight that imp good. That guy's got a spear, though. Come back down here. Yes, help. Because he's got a spear, and spears are scary. It's a pointy stick from hell, man. If you get stabbed by that, I'm pretty sure Jesus won't give you hugs no more. 
All right, so you want them to return to base? Yes, return to base. Nice job, guys. Uh, let's see here. The team cavemen is away from your base and suddenly find themselves facing a group of demons. Both groups seem just as surprised to see each other, but they over... Oh, no. Oh, shit, son. That's not good. Yeah, this is all kinds of bad. I could really use, like, some death and carnage over here. Andy, go help out. Whoop that ass, Andy. Hit him with a stick. Who knew? The Lord spent so much time trying to defeat the devil, and the truth of the matter is you just needed a table leg. That's all you needed to hit him with was a table leg, and then you'd be fine. As far as our base view goes, we are a little bit low on Agua. So I'll probably, as far as research goes, how many points do I have? 31. Uh, you go fetch some water for a little bit. I will set this up. I should be able to set up limits on water. Yeah, there we go. Gather limit. I turned it off, but I'm turning it back on now because maybe it'll help out. Awareness is pretty low, so I think that's a good thing. Hey, everybody's home. Good. They should heal over time as long as they've been fed and as long as they've had food. Like, if their food stays up above, like, a certain level, I think they get healed up slowly. Or you can take them to a medical bench, which will make it a little bit easier, too. As far as food goes, yeah, we're looking pretty net positive. Uh, we can make two composite bows right here, which I think is a really good idea. Because I don't think our weapons are doing it right now. Uh, she's about to level up, which is cool. I'm hoping that maybe that gets done sooner rather than later. Our wood supply is looking a little bit iffy. I'm thinking about getting rid of this clearing right here. And in fact, uh, having played the game now, I do feel like they've dealt with a lot of the issues that made this game really difficult to tolerate earlier on. So this is Joey the Survivalist. Uh, Joey the Survivalist, let's make you gather faster. I think gathering faster. We already have a farmer. Gathering faster seems like something that would be helpful to me. With colony management, uh, let me jump in and... So now that this individual is better at gathering, I've actually reassigned some of their priorities to make sure that it gets done. This person has no bonuses, so I'm going to put him on building so that building gets done first. She apparently can patrol, and that makes her happier as a fighter. I'm just going to ignore that for right now. But yeah, it does seem to me like they've actually smoothed over a lot of the rough aspects of this game that turned me off from it tremendously when I started playing about, I guess, a year ago when the first alpha dropped. It's on alpha 7 or something like that right now, and it's getting ready to go into its final release as far as I know. And so it seemed like a good time to maybe just do like a passing video of it and let you guys know what's going on with it because I know I get a lot of suggestions to play this I'm thinking about streaming it right now if you guys wanted to check out my stream is twitch TV slash splattercat gaming I stream three times a week uh, normally I do Fridays and Sundays and then a floating day in between somebody is being chased by enemy creatures that seems like something we could use an extra hand around here it's kind of far and I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna get attacked while I'm away but awareness is kinda of low right now Let's manage this. We'll take Cruz off the payroll. So with our team selection, I'm going to go with Andy and Joey. And then we'll leave Cruz here because he's kind of hurt. We'll give him a compound bow. She doesn't have like a real weapon yet, but we'll try. Do we know what's going on over here? It's just an imp. Okay, if it's just an imp. Yep, go do your thing. Get on over there. We'll rescue that individual. We'll bring him back. And with four people, I think we'll have a much better work throughput. I'm thinking I might play a little bit more. What do you guys think? What do you? I mean, I don't think the game is much of a looker. But then again, I play roguelikes and stuff like that, so it's one of those things where we're on the spot right now. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, rescue that person. There you go. We'll drag him on into combat here. Let's go find this devil and see if we can bring back a new survivor because I will agree that, unfortunately, work is not getting done at the rate that I would prefer to have it done. Uh, individual, where are you? Oh, there's our imp. I see you. Gonna shoot you because you are poo. You're an imp and you are dead because I smacked you in your head. All right, so do we have to find the other survivor or are we like done here? Ah, there it is. We've got a cage on this side. So let's go ahead and, I wonder if I can release them without actually having to fight the monsters. Like you can do like a little XCOM incursion into enemy territory and like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to kill that imp please because I'm not gonna reset her timer right now. I'm just not gonna do it. Like, she's just going to get chewed on while we try to get Grace out of here. So let's go ahead and we're going to retreat for the edge of the zone. Grace, what are you? She's a priestess. What are her skills? Does she have anything? Uh, she's got damage attack. Oh, cool. So she's devout. She deals damage, but she also takes more damage. She also rocks fatigues like she just don't care. Grace running through with her hands in the air. 
gonna beat on some zombies with a holy devout flea. Yeah, return to base. I mean, I guess you guys could scout something real fast while you're out here. I don't see anything. I'll probably hit this grocery store right next to my base. It'll be the easiest one, and so I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. Dude, if our base gets attacked right now, I'm gonna be deeply upset. Oh, they made it back home. Never mind. Yay! Life is good! Life is so good right now. Okay, so we've got our fighter. Spotting. Patrolling. Vision range. Alright. Fast healing. Fast healing might be a good call, because... She's going to be in combat a lot, which I think we can assume means she's going to get hurt a lot. I was planning on making her be like a heavily armored badass. Did we get enough stuff to make that shirt? Yes, make me an awesome shirt, please. Yep, make a shirt that smells like a yurt. And that would it work. I don't even think that's a word. I just made that up because I have the power to do that. Because it's my channel and you can't tell me what to do. But I might do another episode of this or I might stream it maybe. Maybe I'll stream it. That sounds like a lot of fun. Sit down and stream the game for four or five hours, you know what I mean? Really get in there and make it all work for me. If I wanted to get some woolies, like how do I get woolies? Is that down the research? So if I wanted to go with my base, water conservation, water distribution, we've got wheat over there. If we've got a ritual, so that is occult research that we should be able to do later on. We can also do lucky bounties, water rituals, we can do all kinds of random little things in here, good lord. It looks like we can also do some kind of like soul forging. The soul forge was coming! What, what I want right here, oh, that I want, is I, I really want to get, oh yeah, if I can put armor on somebody, I might as well do that now. I think it was Andy that was going to be our armored lady, so there we go. We've given her an armored suit. That gives her evasion, it gives her a little bit of health. Nice. Nice. Although it said it gave her 90 health, and I can't imagine... Oh, well, apparently health is kind of an abstract value right there. Because it actually gave her 18 health, not 90. I was going to say, man, she's going to be able to take a licking if we keep that up. That girl is going to be able to catch a beat down, and she'll be perfectly fine. I'll make a suit for everybody just so they can fight a little bit better. Uh, with Grace, I don't know that you're good at anything. But I'm going to give you a composite bow. In addition, we will craft six more of those. And then we will make ourselves... I don't want her in combat because she deals extra damage, but she also takes extra damage. And so I'm thinking she's like a primetime sniper. She, like, she's like a person that really her stats line up with her being kind of a sniper-like character. Uh, water is looking okay, although we are drinking through it at a pretty good rate. Uh, there's a bow laying on the ground right there. They're trying to make us some more arrows. Pretty happy with this. Someone nearby is being chased by creatures. If you send someone to assist them, they may join up. I don't know if we want another person right now. We're kind of like an exclusive club for survivors. I don't know if I want you to be here. And so that's why all of my words inflect upwards. Uh, we'll go to our research menu. We actually need boards in order to start making. There we go. So we'll make a sawmill. And does the sawmill go indoors, or is that kind of like an outdoor thing? Okay, we'll make a sawmill over there, too. And with that, we are out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for... Ooh, there's a trader, too. They will stay for a few hours, then go their way. Well, then I will pause the game. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me. This is Judgment. Apocalypse Survival something, rather. Judgment Ass is what I'm calling it for right now. And I will say this. This game has been a turnaround story for me. Uh, the game is much more playable now than it was when I played it back when it first came out. When it first came out, it was just like face quality and so I'm really happy to say that the developers seem to have pulled their asses out of the fire and done a good job uh, I will see you all next time if you want to see more you know what to do likes and comments down below that's how I judge it likes comments and reception unfortunately that's the way she goes nowadays my name is Splattercat thank you for stopping on in I do indie impressions here on the internet and I'm happy you decided to be here uh, take care out everybody if you want to support the developers you can get the game for yourself down below it's going into its full release pretty soon as far as I understand all right I do.